guys are going to be smart out on the floor. They're going to be in the right positions to make plays. And honestly, this could come down to who makes the bigger, tougher shots. So here is Miami's starting group. They've got Adebayo. Robinson is out there with Kendrick Nunn. Then it's Jones. And it's Butler in at the three slot. And for the Lakers, Green and LeBron at the two and the three. Davis is out there with JaVale McGee. And it's Bradley in at the one. Oh, and the jam by LeBron. Love how fierce James is. A ferocious dunk artist. Looking around. Butler against James. Now here's Butler. Defense is right there. Clock at four. Robinson for three. He gets hauled in by Los Angeles. And for everything that Anthony Davis does on the floor, you can't forget about his defense. Still an elite level defender, guards multiple positions and turns away a number of shots. Really well done there. Just confident and composed, never in a hurry. None kicks the butt. Power down with both hands. Oh, look, if you're open, Butler will find you. His court awareness, very impressive. And Davis gets a lot of blocks without getting in foul trouble. About a one-to-one -one ratio for him in his career. Uh, incredible. And he's done a great job of learning how to go straight up, playing vertical. Gets blocks, but doesn't get pulled out of position. Does everything you want from a defensive anchor. And he's going up for the alley-oop. And Jones with the stuff attacking in transition the most consistent way to generate easy looks yeah you can tell they love to get out and run when the opportunity is there now here's Brad and Jones sends it back and he's able to get it back no one near James as he lets it go that one's no good that makes him one for two to the right side Now, here's none. Back to Butler. McGee with the block. When we mentioned McGee's outstanding lift. Well, there, I'm sorry he did. He used that to swap the shot. My goodness. Say, say that one. I, I want to see that again. Me too. Just absolutely beautiful. Outside, Robinson. LeBron against Butler. Back to Robinson. And out of bounds as the Lakers gain possession. And now another look at that mobile one block defensive performance. Some intimidation right away. Got to show those shooters you're going to be there all night long. Catching up on the changes for Los Angeles. White Howard's checked in for JaVale McGee. Arjan Rondo subbed in for Avery Bradley. And then for Miami, Jay Crowder comes in for Jones. And it's Tyler Hero in for Robinson. Outside Rondo. Pass to James. Poked away. Crowder with the steal. Butler on the way. Covered by LeBron. Butler passes to Autobio. None against Rondo. Passes it to Butler. And the layup's good off the glass. He, he's so focused. Butler does not let the defender get into his head. That's a sign of an elite score. Butler against Rondo. And that one drops for him. And none has got the ball here for the Miami Heat. Trailing by two. From the baseline. And he didn't get quite enough under that one. The Lakers have gotten four of six field goal attempts to drop in the first quarter. Outside Rondo. Pass to James. Five on the clock. That's good from Howard on the assist by LeBron. Can't allow Howard to get this kind of position. He's confident in his ability to score inside. 
They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've gone a long time without a bucket. Now, here's none. That one falls, his second basket of the game. He's now two for three. And their post play has been really solid right off the bat. Outside green. Now the dish to Howard. Back to green. That's tipped. James with a deep three. Los Angeles with a fresh shot clock. A three. And Danny Green gets the three. And with good size for his position, Green uses his length to finish shots from all over. Butler against James. Outside Butler lets it go from deep. And we reach the end of the first quarter. Lakers lead by five. We'll get things started in the second quarter when we return. It sounds like Butler has found happiness. You know, people don't talk enough about fit. It's important to be in an organization and a system that maximizes your ability. Butler is playing some of the best ball in his life and making everyone around him better. And if you're just joining us, we've played through one quarter in this one. And taking a look at Los Angeles' performance here, what have they been doing or not doing? Well, the offense is clicking, and they seem to have seized the momentum here early on. Yeah, how many coaches say, we want to start fast? Now, let's see if they can maintain that intensity. They've got Kyle Kuzma. Howard is out there with Marquise Morris. Then it's Contavious Caldwell-Pope, and it's Caruso in at the point. That's the Laker five. On the sideline, let's catch up with Hall of Famer David Aldridge. Hey, Kevin, thanks. If you ask Miami coach Eric Spolstra, there's been a long lineage of undrafted players who've made an impact with the Heat. Going back, think about big guys like Udonis Haslam, Joel Anthony, and Hassan Whiteside. Now you have youngsters like Kendrick Nunn, Duncan Robinson, Derek Jones Jr., and Chris Silva. Miami continues to find diamonds in the rough year after year. Guys? They usually do. That's a very creative organization. Thanks, D.A. We're about a minute and a half into the second quarter now. Rockets the pass to Silva. He kicks it to Iguodala. He gets that one. I got think of you in a New York Knicks uniform, legendary arena you played in. What was that experience like? Kevin, intense. I, I remember <laughs> the first time I suited up in a preseason game, we played the Dallas Mavericks. Both teams went up and down the court three times and nobody scored and the fans started booing. And that's when I knew this is a little bit different. Uh, you better bring your agent. And thicker skin, correct? That too, yeah. <laughs> Fortunately, there was no social media or internet back then. Goodness gracious. <laughs> Here's Dragic following the basket by Contavious Caldwell Pope. Silva the pass to Iguodala. Outside Dragic for the three. Rebounded by Howard. Howard's got his sixth rebound on the night. Here's Caldwell Pope. And yes, it's good. All heart from Caldwell Pope there, using every ounce of strength to Los Angeles. Dragic kicks to Robinson. Back to Dragic. Here's the three. Six to shoot. It's hauled in by LeBron. Lakers leading by nine. Loads it up for Davis and finished off by Davis. Oh, the timing Davis has. He has a sense for when to rise up and slam down the alley. Outside Robinson. 
Crowder against James. Back to Robinson. And he's good on the three ball. Robinson's got himself on the board with three there. Oh, that's a well-deserved assist. Not every player has the vision to make that feed. Rondo dishes to Davis. Back to Rondo. A three from Bradley. The shot that time, not on target. The Heat go the other way with it. It's Crowder on the wing, covered by LeBron. Crowder, the pass to Autobio. And Davis sends it back. You can't take that shot in front of Davis. His reach, his height, his time. And it's Davis with the jam. The assist is the key to that sequence. I mean, a great look to set him up. Outside Robinson, back to Dragic. Crowder feeling it out a bit. And the pass to Robinson. They get a hand on it, and it's out of bounds. They say it was last touched by McGee. Danny Green, he's checked in for Avery Bradley. There's 25 seconds left in the first half. Lakers leading by 10. Here's Davis, and it's Davis with the jam. But when the ball goes to Davis to ensure they convert, he's such a reliable finisher. And Butler, here we go. That's the nun. Here's Hero. multiple NBA title teams. He plays serious defense. And so it's Los Angeles enjoying a 12-point lead as they talk things over during the break. Their defense has been terrific in this game. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Thanks, Kevin. Coach, what needs to change going ahead in the second half? It starts with getting some stops. We've got to play off some misses, uh, and we can't let them uh, force us into one or zero pass possessions. We've got to move the ball one and a half court, help each other with that, uh, but we'd like to get some more in the open. We'll see if you can get the pace where you want it. Thanks, Bo. Back to you, Kevin. Thank you, David, for that interview, and we'll see you back here after the break for third quarter basketball. So well, we've got a second half of basketball for you. We think it's going to be pretty good. A big comeback, though, is needed for this game to be competitive, and it probably has to happen quickly. And for Miami, look at who they've got out there. We've got Kendrick Nunn. Derek Jones is out there with Jimmy Butler. Then it's Bam Adebayo. And it's Robinson in at the two. An athletic guard with a good nose to the ball. Bradley always has to be accountable. Outside Robinson. Passes to Jones. Now Butler. And here's Adebayo. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. Credit to Deep for not giving up on that play. He's a tough cover down low. And Bam Adebayo demonstrating a refined skill set that belies his nickname. Over five assists per game. He's a creator, not just a finisher. Here's none following the basket by Anthony Davis. Pass the bump from outside the arc. Rebound the Lakers. McGee's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. James finds Bradley. Offensive rebound. They are just killing him on the interior. The Heat trail by 18. They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for sure. And Davis sends it back. Butler against LeBron. 
That one falls. And the Heat have given out a bio the leeway to rip and run, baby. Make things happen. Hey, Kevin, an unselfish player who loves to pass. Even back in high school, playing with lesser talent, he made sure to find the others. Looking at who's out there now for the Lakers. Kyle Kuzma's checked in for Anthony Davis. Contavious called Will Pope comes in for Green. And it's Alex Caruso in for Bradley. Free throw good, LeBron. Greg, you really began to emerge and got on the national scene at UNLV, but you started your college career at Portland where you were actually named the conference freshman of the year. Uh, yeah, how about I, I actually averaged more points in Portland than in any season I played at Vegas. Totally different roles, but Portland's always going to have a, a sweet spot in my heart. My first child was born in the great city of Portland. Now here's Kuzma. A 21-point lead, the biggest in the game. James, the pass to Kuzma. Yes, it's James time picking out, up out. the assist. James has got six oh, assists. Dude, you can see when LeBron kicks it into that next gear. Can't keep it on all the time, but he's still able to take over when he needs to. Dwight Howard, he's checked in for LeBron. Heat also with a sub. Trogic has checked in. Igudala kicks to Butler. Trying to get something going. And two shots coming up at the line as he gets fouled on the shot. And there's the foul against the Lakers. Now look, we all know Butler wants to win. He knows he's in the prime years of his career, and he's hungry for titles. First free throw is good. And taken with the 30th pick back in 2011, Jimmy Butler went from 15th man in Chicago riding the end of the bench to franchise player in the course of four seasons. And so Butler nails both of them. And Greg, it seemed in Chicago and Minnesota, maybe Jimmy Butler wore out his welcome. Philadelphia, they had him and they had to juggle multiple stars. But man, Miami, the Heat handed him the keys and he has taken off. And Kevin, he's shown himself worthy, lifting them to a top seed in the East and himself into the MVP conversation. Down to five on the shot clock. Howard against Dragic. No good. Now the Heat take it the other way. Second half of play, and we're three minutes into the third here. Takes it out to Leonard. The pass to Butler. Back to Leonard. Top of the key, Dragic. Leonard trying to break free. And Dragic with the basket on the assist from Leonard. Dragic has got his first points in this one. And that's his strong suit, the ability to find his way through the D and finish at the rim. Now Caldwell Pope, and he takes that one up and powers it through. And Caldwell Pope just blows past the finish with his speed. Just a sensational finisher all around the buck. Iguodala, the pass to Olenek. Dishes it to Dragic. Takes a shot at the elbow. Rebounded by Howard. Howard's got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. And Caldwell Pope gets the basket. Caldwell Pope's got eight. Every time they get scored on during this run, it's come from inside the paint. Dragic dishes to Iguodala. Outside Butler. Plays it up and banks it in. Butler's got four points now in the quarter. Oh, he uses good strength and body control to finish around the rim. Butler's a force around the basket. Kuzma outside. Caldwell Pope feeling it out of it. Here's Howard, and he drops in the layup off the glass. Six points for him. Well, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. They keep getting it in the paint and continue to score consistently. Dragic with it. Pass to 
Butler. Shoots over Kuzma. And that one hits back iron. The three quarters of play all in the books. And this one all but over already. Lakers ahead. Ending the third quarter with a tremendous 17-6 run. Live from the Staples Center, you're watching 2K Sports. and it was served cold. Now, I love the poise, the decisiveness. This is how you run an offense. And one quarter to go in a game that, to this point, has not been an evenly fought contest. Green and Rondo in the backcourt. LeBron and Davis, the incredible forward pair. And it's Morris in at the center position. That's the Laker five. Greg, who are your favorite players to watch in the NBA? Boy, that, that's a tough one. You, you know, you, you got to like the guys that have, have changed the game in some regards, right? Steph, KD, and Giannis. Uh, those are three guys that are just doing things that don't seem normal. True. Uh, True. Then others who remind you uh, of past greatness, you know, Jason Tatum with Kobe or maybe an Anthony Davis with Hakeem. And, those are guys that I love. And, and then I, the other guy, listen, LeBron James. I, I could watch him play basketball every day. You, you know, to do what he's done at this stage of his career, I, I just think it's incredible. And I think our game is in great shape. Agree on all counts. Both good from the line that time. Los Angeles leading by 21. Here's James. Outside, Green. No good on the three. Davis against Crowder. And Adebayo throws it down. With strong athleticism, Adebayo can finish just about any lob with his large catch radius. James looking around. A three-pointer is right on target. The man has no heart, and that's poor defense for a team that has a long way to catch up. Yeah, indeed, like that isn't going to get you back in the game. You have to stay connected to these shooters. And here's Adebayo after LeBron James hitting the three, and they pick up two. Adebayo's got six points in the quarter. You see the offense coming around for Adebayo. Entered the league with raw skills, but he's had the benefit of great coaching. Now here's James. Fourth quarter now. We're about a minute and a half in. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. down the first one. Los Angeles making a switch here. Bradley's checked in. Derek Jones, he's checked in for the Heat. And so he makes both from the line. And they came out of the locker room after halftime with a much more physical approach than what we saw in that first half. Now here's LeBron. And they double up James. And a bit of a battle here for the ball. The official signals a jump ball here. A fantastic mobile one block. This one deserves another look. And they're determined to add to the lead, not with more offense, but with big time D. And the Lakers have possession. Davis finds James. And the wide open shot from Green. And a miss there on the triple. And so Adebayo will bring it up for Miami. They've played a great fourth quarter defensively, allowing only three points. Now here is Robinson. 
it to Autobio. Just four to shoot. Here's Hero. Rebounded by the Lakers. Earlier, they held a 23-point lead. James against Adebayo. The putback, he hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. And the Lakers lead by 20. Wow. Morris is a physical guy. Solid as staying active on the boards and gobbling up these rebounds. Robinson kicks to nine. Over Bradley. Off the left rim and out. They know they can't give him that shot. These are over it. Not even giving him an inch of space. Here's LeBron. A shot. No good. And it's Miami the other way. Here's Autobio. And he makes the bucket, gets the whistle, and now a three-point play chance here for him. That is not a simple finish by any means. Adebayo had to keep his focus, makes the D think twice about getting physical with him. JaVale McGee's checked in for the Lakers. What's up? Fourth quarter keeps moving right along. Three minutes gone so far. Agic against Bradley. Here's LeBron. And Adebayo sends it back. Butler against LeBron. Outside Dragic. Shoots over Bradley. Deep two from Robinson. It's hauled in by Los Angeles. McGee's got six rebounds now in the game. And tonight's battle is going to end with a very clear winner, leaving nothing to chance. Impressive win for the Lakers. Not only did they shoot the ball better, but they had more assists. Yeah, I thought the passing in terms of finding the open man gave them the higher percentage shots. The ball movement was key for the win. And one of the league's top talents, game in and game out. And doing it here again in this one. A terrific night for LeBron. His vision and his ball movement impressed me the most. A tremendous night for him passing the basketball. Robinson misses. Well, defense, they just took that possession off. I mean, they get away with it that time, but they got to show some more aggression. LeBron with it. Robinson picks him up. James kicks to Bradley. 44 seconds left here in the fourth quarter. Pocket six. Here's LeBron. And he gets the friendly spin, and that one drops. And credit the whole team. It was a focused, concerted effort to put this one away. Yeah, I love how they play for one another out there. No signs of selfishness. They're just a total team effort. Now, here is Robinson. Here's Butler. And he banks in the layup. Are extremely active on both ends of the floor. Butler shrugs off contact. One item that stood out, their ball movement. Things are definitely clicking, and more importantly, it makes it really hard to defend. James against Butler. LeBron outside. So it's Los Angeles winning this one easy. They won this game going away. They were the better basketball team by far tonight. And you got to commend this sort of dominance, particularly here at home. It's a great feeling when you play almost a perfect game and to have that crowd be so pumped up. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Thank you, Kevin. LeBron, a challenge for you tonight with your matchup. How much motivation do you get in a game like this one? My matchup is not an individual matchup. It's, it's us as a team trying to get better, and uh, we was able to hold court, so it was a good win for us. Well, man, I appreciate the time. Thanks, man. Congrats. Kevin, back to you. Thank you, David. Great interview once again. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. For Chris Weber, Greg Anthony, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. So long.